We're no longer just hearing from the candidates. Now we're getting inside their heads. Let me out of here. Donald Trump has had the lion's share of armchair analysis. A uh, screw loose. Everybody was asking me about his mental health. It's easy to behave that way when you're mentally ill. <laughs> Even the conservative Weekly Standard piled on. Donald Trump is not of sound mind. That sounded worse than the More phrasing evidence. Hillary Clinton uses. He is temperamentally unfit. That probably triggered Trump's temper, and now he's analyzing she's Hillary. Unstable. She's unbalanced. This was the Donald's preliminary diagnosis of Hillary. She's really pretty close to unhinged. But by the very next day, he apparently thought her condition had worsened. She is a totally unhinged person. One host listed the diagnostic criteria for narcissistic personality disorder. Requiring constant admiration. And found Trump met all 12. Tweeted the former dean of Harvard Medical School. Trump doesn't just have it, he defines it. But Donald himself was less specific about Hillary's symptoms. Honestly, I don't think she's all there. After Michael Bloomberg threw Trump over for Hillary. Let's select a sane competent person. Dr. Drew declared Trump not insane. And when John Oliver called him such a damaged sociopathic narcissist. Is that unfair to, to call someone who is a nominee for the Republican Party a sociopath? The, the, yes, it, it is unfair. But clinical psychologist Dr. George Simon said this to Vanity Fair about Trump and narcissism. He's so classic that I'm archiving video clips of him to use in workshops because there's no better example. Here's another one for your files, doctor. All of my life I've been told you have the greatest temperament. Genie Mouse. Temperamentally unfit. CNN. Totally unhinged. New York.